In this video, we're diving into one of JavaScript's classic questions, four verses for each. Let's get started. First, let's compare the basic syntax. With the for loop, you manually control everything, the initial index value, the condition to terminate the loop, and how the index changes with each step. In contrast, the for each method offers less control over the iteration. It automatically iterates through each element, providing you with the element itself and its index if you choose to use it. You don't directly manage the iteration process or define termination conditions. Another key difference is how each loop handles control flow. In a traditional for loop, you can use break to exit the loop early or continue to skip iterations. But with for each, you can't do that. The return inside for each only exits the current callback. It doesn't stop the iteration. Now, what happens when we mix asynchronous operations like fetching data with these loops? In a for loop, the await keyword ensures that each iteration waits for the previous one to complete. If you try this with for each, the behavior is different. All iterations start at roughly the same time and run in parallel, which might not be what you want. Finally, let's talk performance. In many benchmarks, the traditional for loop tends to be faster because it avoids the overhead of calling a callback function on each iteration. Here's a quick benchmark. On my machine, the for loop consistently finishes faster than for each. For small arrays, the difference is negligible, but for large datasets, for loops can give you a performance boost. When it comes to which one to use, use for loops when you need fine-grained control, early exits, or sequential async operations. Use for each for cleaner, more readable code when you don't need those features. That's it for today's video. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer, four or four each. See you in the next one.